considerations for a get home bag in winter, the first thing is your vehicle is gonna make a better shelter than like a snow, you know, igloo thing. You should be wearing appropriate clothing and then a way to make heat, which would be combustion, a way to get out of the elements, which is your cover, whether it's a tent or a poncho. It's important to think about your mobility, like when your vehicle goes down and you suddenly go afoot, having something in there like micro spikes is what I keep on the outside of my ruck. So if it gets iced over, I can walk without injuring myself. But you know, uh, if you're in deeper snow, you might need snowshoes or you might need a sled to pull. It's a lot easier to pull things on the snow than it is to carry it. It just, it's all regionally specific. Depends on your area. Yeah, I would say the biggest thing would be to add some dry warming layers that you could either throw on under or on top just to be prepared for that. Because if your clothes get wet, which inevitably they will from exertion, mm -hmm. sweat, uh, or precipitation of some sort, I would say having some thermals that you can put on dry, completely dry layer, al almost always I would recommend wool. And, and put everything in dry bags. Yeah. Like have your clothes in a dry bag, have your sleep kit in a dry bag, and that way if you cross a body of water and get everything wet, you've got something to get into that's dry and warm on the other side. I'm a little different when it comes to the winter. A lot of people factor in their shelter, they're gonna do a fire with it, so it's fire dependent. I wanna carry enough layers that I can stay warm without a fire. I don't, I don't make fires unless I have to make them. I have a basic rule. If, if you can sit by a fire at two o'clock in the morning comfortably in the clothes that you've got, then you've got enough. If you can't, you don't have enough. The problem is people will get out there and they'll go with what we've got on right now and two, three o'clock in the morning, they're freezing, right? So always pack a little more, you can take it off as far as insulation is concerned. But you can't put on something that you didn't bring. Ruck, truck, house. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What can I carry in my ruck? What can I carry in my truck? What's at the house waiting for me when I get there? And th those are medical principles. You don't necessarily need redundancy of the same things across all of those lines, but you can have complementation from one line, one layer to the next, to yeah. the next, to the next. Look at your area specifically where you're at, your environment. Figure out what, it need, what you need to stay in your vehicle for the next 72 hours minimum, yep. comfortably and then dial it down if you have to leave and grab a, a bug.